I didn't know where we were going. I would let them in second there. Welcome to today's video guys. A bit of a strange one. We were up the north of Ireland and we called into our good friends at AGM car sales because they have the most random cars ever and every time we're up here we want to just go for it. Adam's not been here before, I've you've not been here, been, here been here before, me and Blaine were here before. So me and Adam are going to go around and see if we want to buy a car, maybe for Adam. I can't buy any more cars. You can't buy any more cars. Well I say that now. It starts off very tame. Yeah. It starts off very tame. Look at the I'm just going to say, the further you go in, the madder it does go. Some big old wheels though. Big old wheels. 24s or something? A big. Nice. Or 32 golf. No. <laughs> We're getting to the Japanese stuff here. Funky Beetle. Yeah, nice, nice here. Um, golfs and stuff, not too bothered about it. M3. Nice. What is it? Four door M3? Yeah. M46 M3. Four door? Yeah. Four doors are rare. 17 grand. Yeah. S8. S8. All in. Same engine that's in the Gallardo and the Audi R8. Big huge brakes. Here's, here's the last lead with this new uh, A86. Oh, this lad looks happy, doesn't he? There's not many car sales where you go home with a uh, <laughs> twin cam. Yeah. Sad that's gone now. Although, look at this. What's this? It's, it's, it's beeping. It's currently beeping. At us. What is going on here? I'm not sure. It looks like, you know, Jesse from uh, Fast and Furious. <laughs> it looks like Jesse, Jesse grew up and he needed to take the kids to school. <laughs> so he got himself a, a Navara. <laughs> <laughs> this has like stripes and infinity badge for no reason. Oh, Sky Star. Nice. What star. is this? What is this? Is that an exhaust? Oh, no, I, think, I think that's... Oh, it is. Wait. It is an exhaust. How the hell is that an exhaust? It says Super Trap on it, I don't know what that- Oh, is it an exhaust? This is a novelty car. It's got like a tow hook, it's got jazzy Lexus lights on an Infiniti. It's interesting. I've never seen anything quite like that in my life. I'm not sure I want to see anything. We've had a quick look around, Dave. I mean, how long have you been here? Two minutes. And I've already found the car. The project car that I would I would buy. This is the one you would buy. It has no reason for no it. No reason because it's stupid. It wouldn't even drive. I couldn't even get it home. Listen, there's absolutely every reason for this. I wouldn't even, yeah. It wouldn't even make Look it out. Look at this thing. <laughs> that is savage. I honestly think. Adam. I don't even know why you'd think about it. Honestly, <laughs> look. Right what are these? So right. SSR, SSR ones? SSR, SSR Mark ones, 15s on a. 15s on a, on a, on a Cresta. I've never even Cresta, seen that. Cresta. I think it's a, I think it's a Cresta. Cresta. Yeah, small wheels on a big old car. And with they've, they've brown got, interior. Look at that. Manual. Manual. But the manual 2JZ non turbo. Flair, um, flared arches. The flared arches, they went. Let's just put them down yeah. to make it sort of work with the wheels, which they kind of do. But my favourite parts around this side, John. What is around this side? You've seen Lexus lights. You've seen red and clear lights. You've never seen two trailer lights on the back of the car <laughs> where they've painted over the original lights. <laughs> is that honestly? Are they just standard lights? <laughs> There's trailer lights on the. I'm not, I'm not sure about cheap. the lights there. It's cheap. Uh, well. In, in relative I'm not sure there's a there's huge amount of target audience for who would in buy this. In relative terms, because like now... In relative terms, the JDM like stuff is cheap. last year, this stuff has gone mad. The only issue is... The only issue? Oh, you've got to get down low. Oh my god. The exhaust on the back is actually touching the ground. It's static. So... That's not going to work. It's not going to work. Yeah, but look at it. Look how... It's tucking rim at the back almost. It's tucking 15. It's tucking 15. <laughs> that's how low it is. <laughs> on, a, on a big body Like you'd think at the front... I mean, if you went a bit... I couldn't go a bit lower because yeah. you'd be on the ground. Yeah. The front would be on the ground. It's quite cool though. It's very cool. Very, very I like cool. that. Star I like that The Starbows. These are very desirable in Ireland. I say Starbows because that's what they were nicknamed in Ireland. Starless Turbos. Starbows. It's like eight and a half thousand pounds. Like, yeah. these cars were like a tow, like 
fifteen hundred quid a couple of years ago. If someone wanted to trade one in against your car, you'd go, no, no I don't want one. Now packed, every, yeah. they actually look quite cool. Yeah. These are nice little clean ones as well. These are all Japanese imports. Yeah. The three two five, it looks like. Yeah. E30 getting rare now, nice and red. This now, this is a bit. I used to have one of these. Yes, I used to have one of those. You used to have one more like this. You one, know, even. More like this. I, this is actually. Exa I drove one of these daily. Pretty mad like this, and um, there's one the lad. The the one thing you don't get about the this is where I had to sell it. They are the longest car in the world. I couldn't get out of my underground car park with them because they would hit the front and back. You don't understand how long they are. Until you kind of stand beside one and go, it is a big car. Like, it's a very long car. Like, it's longer than a chaser. Yeah, it's well, there's actually a chaser next to it right, <laughs> right now. They are very long. They're nice. This one has a Orb 26 I think, in it. So it's an actual GTR engine. Oh, really? In, in a 34, yeah. Jazzy. This is the color, though, right? The Bayside Blue. That is the, the color. That's kind of the one you want. They're getting rare now, really super rare. You see two of them side by side as well, it's mad. Oh Josh, look, it's perfect for you. It's a camper, Josh. Oh, a camper, <laughs> look at that. You could make one trip every three years in this in comfort. Yeah. So the joke is that Josh bought a camper during the lockdown, fell in love with it, built it all up, thought it was great, and then hasn't moved in, what, two years now? Yeah. So it, like, when it, when no, I'm, when no I'm glad this joke's been introduced now, thank yeah, you. Yeah. Well, no, you, you couldn't travel during the pandemic. You couldn't travel, so campers are making campers loads of money. Loads he said, oh, it's yeah. gone up in value. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll wait until everyone can go out yeah. uh, travel yeah. abroad, and then I'll sell yeah. it, so. It's not for sale, never for sale. Nice, I like this. Yeah. Very, like very clean. Very clean, nice lip, nice wheels. That's yeah, very nice. S or, or S4, just here. I'm more interested just in the job. You stuff. see, you always go towards the bag stuff. Yeah, the fast, fa the fast bag stuff. Oh, lad. Lad. Oh, oh. Old, la old lad. <laughs> I was saying old lad. I was going to say, so you're bigging this one up quite a bit. Oh, What's this? Is this a GTO? It's a GTO. 3000 GT. The epitome of 90s styling. Look at the headlights. They are. I think they're modified they, headlights. They're not oh, standard, they're standard. Are they? Like yes. what, what is the, what is the point of anything after this? No, they used to have pop-ups, and then they facelifted it with normal lights. But then they put this kind of. Vinyl they put a lot of styling the time into that. They've done a facelift. Yeah, the one bit of this car I always think is so funky is this vent. It's just the nineties. Just just here, this. But you can the, tell it. It, it, no, go, no, it goes the, absolutely nowhere. Just the styling. That is the nineties right there. Look at that curves and. Edges and it's like food. a Ferrari, but so much different. Yeah, this is, <laughs> ah, this is really no. Nice. This is very nice. That is very nice. That is an S15 turbo, I assume. This is... I'm not even sure any of the spec kits. That, is it a spec car kit? Yeah, spec or manual. That's a expensive car. Oh, you, you know they're expensive now. I do. I know them very well. That's very expensive. That was really nice. Nice color combo too. Look, look, look at the brake light. That's for the old uh, MOT. Brake light down there. Out the way. Got a nice exhaust and a Kek motor exhaust. No, or a sore exhaust, even better. Wow. This one has. I think this to me looks like it's a car that was imported. Someone spent a lot of time and energy on it here. It actually so. looks mint. Like there's not even a sign of corrosion no. around here. They're very unusual front fenders, aren't they? With that kind of half. Fin. They're kind of very stuck, but it's obviously like an M, with like an M4. Now, the wall of Subarus. And Evo. It's had the Subarus owners club. It is like, I've seen Subaru meets that have less Subarus than this yard. So these are all, uh, I'm not even Oh, is that your favorite one there? Is that your favorite? The seven. Was yeah, it I the seven or the eight that was? That was uh, I think the seven, I had a seven. The eight is probably the best looking, I think. But it's very hard to tell what's a seven and eight because they all swap the headlights now and all that stuff. So that's a Hawkeye STI, nice car. This one is a bit of a jazzy, racy looking one. That looks like it's just come fresh in off the boat. Has a, is that a Sea West front bumper? Look at that for a spot. I was right for once. It says it on it. But I, but, I, <laughs> I but I couldn't see it at the time, so I'm gonna take that one. Um, so that looks, this one looks really racy. It's got like raised wheels, spoiler. Ready, ready to take off. The alarm's go off now. <laughs> this is big. What is the track? It's like a track kind of one. HGS power sticker must mean it's fast as a HGS exhaust. That's quite cool. It's like walking around a yard in Japan, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I find like, yeah, like there's no other car sales place like this that you can walk through with modified Japanese stuff. Like, These are special edition ones, but I'm terrible at this, so like they could be a solid. Uh, Subaru special editions are tough going, but I can tell you that one is some sort of Pro Drive. <laughs> because it's no, no, got the like number plate on. It's like a 555 edition <laughs> or something like that. 
This one could be a Salzburg one, I'm not sure, but there's just loads of these different versions. But that one and that one, I imagine, are very, very special. This is now very hard to find, which is just an STI in blue and gold. You can see the prices are creeping up on these crazy. And then there's a Legacy I just HDB the, Turbo. The Legacy is like, I kind of like that the best out of all of them. Is that what Travis Pastrana has built for the new uh, yeah, Gymkhana? Yeah, like the old, but it's the old, an older one again. Old, old, old legacy. So that one is, um, that's a GTB, so that's a twin turbo. And then we have another STI down there. But we'll come back over here, because this one is just a bit odd. So this is a, is a 190E? Yeah, 190E. 190, maybe not a Cosworth, I would say. Maybe it's like a Cosworth car. We can make this look like a Cosworth very easy. All right, that's a good idea. Cosworth. Oh, this one's open. Very, very mint oh, inside. Very oh, blue wow. inside. Blue, 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 and more blue with a sprinkle of wood. It's got that blue on blue. If you don't have smell of vision, but it smells like an smells old man car. Like an old car. It's got that like, like classic car. Yeah. It smells like 56 euro tax. Yeah. <laughs> and cheap insurance. <laughs> even actually, the tree, look at the tree on the door. Well, Everything's even blue. Everything's blue. I quite like the blue. I, yeah. You know what? That is colour co coded to the max. Every, every base possible. There's only um, 89,000 kilometres on this car. That's mad. This is a very mint. I guess you can see it. It's very mint. Like even the seats have very oh, little yeah. wear. Yeah, yeah. That car is mint. It's got like a kind of a, a Cosworth kit, kind of yeah. spoiler going is on. It? An AMG badge. It's funky. Like I, you, I really like that. You bought yeah. one of these, decked it, nice wheels. Yeah. Nice. They're very cool. I don't know how much this one is, but it's quite cool. We got a JZX 100. Nice one. Nice color. Yeah, nice, nice color. The thing I like most about this is the bonnet. I, I think the aggressive bonnets on these just look incredible. A fairly aggressive front lip on that, isn't it? It's, it's the next car that you already had a look at. Look at the headlights. This I have to stay away from. I'm not allowed to look at this one. I'm going to come back to this at the end. Um, look over here. That's a pretty Ford GTR. I think it's a GTR. But it says GTR, isn't it? You never know, but I think that is a... The bonnet's open so you can take a sneaky look. No one's spotted us yet. Put it down! It's a GTR. It's a GTR. It's a 34 GTR genuine ARC cooling panel. It's very good. shocks. It's very clean. Electronic shocks. Ooh. Fancy. This is fancy, fancy. And all the stock stuff. This you just want. looks stuck. Like original wheels. Crazy bonnet vent for the other two. It's very clean inside. It's very clean inside. I don't know whose car this is. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Very They're very weird seats, aren't they? They're like a kind of a glittery silver yeah. or grey. 90, 90s and that, that spec. Very 90s, but very cool. Can't afford this one. Oh, Another Subaru over there. This, my car. It hey, actually, fit, actually fit, fits in, doesn't it? Sunny. Well, we saw a few of these Sunny. that had oh. SR20s in, didn't we? Yeah, the problem is, and this is so much good while I'm here. And, and I'm just going to try and sneak it out. I actually saw one of these up for sale recently. I was tempted, but I don't think I can fit in one. I don't think I'd fit in one. I don't think so. You had to split your legs, your elbow hit off out the window. Hang roll, on a second. I have to roll the window down. Hey, there you go. I never actually realized that. Adam, get in the other side of this. Let's, oh, see, oh, let's oh, get in here now and see if two grown men can drive this. This is, this is going to be snug, as you'll say. <laughs> your elbow to elbow, anyways. <laughs> that is tight. So that wouldn't be a comfortable a few hour drive. Josh, check out the radio. I like these. Look at, look at this. Look at, look at this little eight track. Nice. It's very cool. And it's got, it's a, a, what a push for a vent. I don't know what's happening here. Very small though. Yeah. And I can't go back any further because I'd be in the bag. So. <laughs> yeah. I like how it, has, it literally has wing mirrors. This is where the name wing mirror came from. Then it became just a mirror, but they still call it a wing mirror, but the wing mirror should be on the wing. But this is an, e this looks like a 325, but it has, it, I can't remember the name of the front headlight conversion. Bricks. No, you can call them bricks, but is it, is it like Tiffin or if, I can't, you, I'm sure the comments There's people right screaming at you. It's either Tiffin or Ifin or something like that, but anyway, it's these four headlights instead of the Do you like that? Yeah. Really? I don't mind them. And they're also yeah, they're very rare and very very expensive to buy them if, yeah, if, if, if you can find them. I would actually prefer the circle ones. Yeah. I just think because they're different maybe. Yeah. And then we're going to finish with the one that is right down my street. Just buy it for the crack. <laughs> you haven't got one with pop-up headlights yet. I literally was about to say, how would I justify this to myself, another PS13? But it doesn't have a 180 front. Or one, uh, this yeah, you don't have one. You just buy the conversion for it. I could just buy the conversion for one of my uh, well, you, No, you don't want to mess with those ones. Get this one. Funky car, you know it? what? It looks like an NSX at the front. 
it's a weird one because I've never seen these headlights before. Like they kind of look almost homemade. I'm, I'm not a fan seen, of them. I've seen them on old, I can't remember one of the D1 videos. Do you know what I think they are? Is I it? think they're, I'm wondering are they like a stock pop-up sort of style that they've, they've switched around or something? Like as in, because these, these uh, bolts look quite homemade. I don't know, answers in the comments. Are they something aftermarket or does someone make them up and just make this, like take the, so say the flip up light is down, they just cut off the top bit of it and put the lamps in and made it up themselves, I don't know. Anyway, irregardless, a little bit rougher on the edges of this, but I kind of like that. Um, it's got definitely the Japan gauges on there. I think, I, I'd be really saw that now if it had a proper rev counter in it. Oh, look at the door card. Oh, carbon door card. Look at that. That's a bit of a surprise. The few screws in right now, but I'm sure you put the you put the screws back in. That's bargaining. You can bargain. You can bargain down on that. Look at the size of the bolts I mean, is on that bright seat as Josh, well. Does it have, I wonder does it have like a rev counter or something in it? You never know. I I can't see one. Where would it? Where would the rev counter be in these? <laughs> Six thousand RPM. <laughs> there are more gauges here. What are these for? Solar panel. There's a solar panel charging thing. Is there ever was more JDM Halfords than that? <laughs> A solar powered panel that goes, I don't know where it goes, but. Nardy steering wheel, it's got like a dash dodger cage, very JDM. This isn't a carbon wrap on the dash. Two different types of carbon by the look of it. You went to Halford's, got some carbon wrap, and just wrapped every single bit of plastic in it, I think. All right, well, you sold it to yourself, anyways, now, so. Yeah, that'd be a good truck car, wouldn't it? Anyway. Time, Your car's in the yard now, Dave. Yours is for sale. <laughs> just leave that one for a bit if you could. <laughs> That'd be quite funny if they sold your car whilst we're waiting round. But it would suit my narrative here. <laughs> <laughs> I just bought a new way. Spend a couple thousand just to cruise it. Shawty said she loved me, but it's fresh enough to prove it. I never tell her, but I put it in the music. Well, that's okay. All I want to do is make the best of my whole day. Thank the Lord up above. Get the cream on the side. Make you laugh to know it. That's the stuff that I love. La, la, da, da, da. We can be friends if you want to. We can just talk if you want to. We can all hands if you want to. Tell me what you wanna do We could just laugh if you wanna Late nights on the stars if you wanna Alright guys, we want to take a quick second in this video to thank one of our amazing partners of Drift Games, Mobile One Oil. We use Mobile One Oil on all of our drift cars, all of our road cars, and they even use them in Formula One cars, so they're good enough for anybody's application. In Ireland, check out oil.ie for their full range. You can thank us later. So, uh, we couldn't leave without trying one car. So, uh, looking for a spin. I said, can we drive something that's a little bit interesting? And he said that this one has a big massive turbo on it. That's literally the words he used. He went, take that one, it's got a massive turbo. I was like, okay, so we're going to jump in and put some petrol in and see what happens. Anyway, <laughs> he said this one's a bit of a beast. Caught his shotgun already. What is this? Steering wheel? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> this how small is that? This is the world's smallest steering wheel. You good, man? There, look at this. Look at the, yeah, the bar on the ground. Look at the bar on the ground, Dave, behind you. It was like a strut bar. Strut bar. Ground. I've got, this was definitely doing some skidaroos in Shkidaroo. Japan. With the, with the, with the smallest wheel. With the 12 inch pizza wheel, isn't that it? That is 100% not the wheel this car had. And he went, <laughs> oh, I don't want to give that steering wheel away. What have you got? I'll take my child's, the, the, my child's steering wheel from the... What uh, have screwed it in with? <laughs> three screws. Look at this. It's t It suits me, actually, because I've got quite long knees. But, like, I've never seen a This is like a go-kart wheel. Means. What's great about big turbos? They really just come on, it's like they're screaming in your face. Whoa! We're going fast! The car had so much lag, I literally went, you know what, that's not bad. And then it went. <laughs> I thought it was like at 5,000, I was like, oh, it's not too bad. Whoa! That is hilarious. It's got a little screwly there as well. 4 v 25 massive turbo. Savage. <laughs> I was going to say there's a bit of a ramp there. <laughs> 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 I didn't know where we were going. <laughs> 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 I'm 
doing? <laughs> what a car! Oh, this thing is fantastic. How about you stop you in the yeah, back? Yeah, I had to hit the roof. <laughs> and then it was no it smell. I was like, it just light up the tires, I think, as well. Oh, it lit them in second there. <laughs> this thing is like, it must be like 500 horsepower. It's got some go. Yeah, and it just does nothing at the start. It's 100 and then just 500 oh, all of like it. 7 horsepower and then goodbye! <laughs> Oh, I'm going to put a big turbo in one of my cars just for that fun. <laughs> I think it just lulls people into a false sense of confidence. You kind of tip it along and go, yeah, 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 next thing. Wait, Savage. It pulled you into a false sense. I didn't even know it was coming. I was like, oh, this isn't so bad. I have, I have this controlled. And then like, good God. That was fantastic. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a snap on. Snap on USA, boys. Just said I'd throw that in there. So we are going to show Adam's uh, new car in the next episode. It's not uh, from this yard, but we always drop in here and see Alan and the boys when we're up because it's like a little break away from reality, isn't it? Because these cars don't exist in the real world that much anymore. And he has a bunch of them here. I just don't think, I, like, it's so, everything's quite impractical and mad and different and crazy. And it's just a little break away from the normality. But you got to travel a bit to get here, but it's so worth it every time. So we hope you guys enjoyed our ramble around AGM car sales today. Thanks to the guys at Alan and the guys here for having us. I'm a little shook up after driving this big burp, this big turbo laurel. And uh, we'll see you on the next one where we will be showing you Adam's new car. So we can't wait. <laughs>